arguably the biggest corporate scandal in the country at the center of MPs' concerns, possible job losses and more than one million public servants' pension funds which were invested with Stainoff. But the answers to specific questions were not forthcoming. I'm not trying to frustrate the process at all, Chair. I'm, I'm trying just to stay within, um, to, to not uh, jeopardize any other processes that the company is undergoing. So I'm trying to think carefully about how to do that. MPs wanted to know the names of the culprits and actions taken against them. Is the laws of South Africa so limited in being able to get Chester to be arrested? It was quite clear, Chester, I mean, just to treat you with contempt. I'm sure that if we were to dig deeper, we will then be able to establish that uh, Christo Vici, Stephen Boysen, Johan van Zeel were closely aware of what is happening in Stainoff. I want to know why did specifically did the company decide to suspend Mr. Lecranci and based on what evidence? Our interest is what we, it's still what went wrong. What went wrong in the, uh, in the company? But Stainoff directors were reluctant to name and shame the so-called culprits. There is significant litigation that this group is facing. Significant litigation. It is an issue that we as a company have to take very seriously. It is an issue that you will appreciate deals with issues of legal privilege and it is something that we as a management board have to carefully consider to ensure that part of the PwC process and what we are saying in public is done within the strictures of the judicial processes so that are followed. Another point of contention was whether Stainoff could still be saved given the gravity of the crisis it faces and the consequences of its implosion. I think we have a chance. Um, we will continue to fight for that chance. And, um, and, that, and, and, and as long as that looks possible, uh, those of us who are in these positions, we will continue to drive that process. Next week, Marcus Juste, the man in charge when the company crashed, is to appear before Parliament. It will be the first time he'll have an opportunity to give his side of the story. Manilis, it was SABC News, Parliament.